Okay, now for my oil. Uh, my favorite oil that I have is, well, that I use is the olive oil. Just regular extra virgin olive oil from Walmart. And I put it in this little container for easier access. But I love, I love extra virgin olive oil. It's, I use this more than the rest. One, because it's cheap. It's cheaper than the rest of the oils. And it really does work really well with my hair, sealing in the moisture. And it's just, I just really like this product. My second favorite oil would have to be the coconut oil. And I love the, I don't use it during the winter time because I, I did it once and I shouldn't have. It made my hair feel hard and I didn't really, and I didn't use a lot. It made my hair feel hard and I just wouldn't use it during the winter time. And that would be a summertime product. Well, this would be a summertime product or if I'm doing my hair or something like this. Uh, where I put my beanie on, then I'll use this. But as far as having my hair out when it's cold with the coconut oil, I wouldn't do. But um, I really love this product. It makes my hair feel so soft, and I just love this product. But it's pretty pricey. Um, but I got this one on sale. It was from GNC. It was two for 15 No, it was buy one, get one free. So I got two for um, $27, and one was 15 so I got one, buy one, get one, I think it was half off, buy one, get one, half off. Um, my third favorite oil, I would probably say, would be the sweet almond oil. See, I'm almost out of this sweet almond oil. Um, and I really, I really do like this. It's a great sealant as well. Um, just, just a really good oil. And my third, fourth, 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 fourth. Fourth favorite is the jojoba oil. These are the more pricier oils, the almond, jojoba, and the coconut oil. They're the more pricey oils. Um, see, this one's only four ounces. Um, I haven't seen somewhere where I can get bigger ones, but I think this one was about $10. But yeah, um, these oils I really like. And my fifth oil is the castor oil. And this one was expensive. This one was like five dollars, and it's four ounces. I have, I cannot find any other castor oil anywhere else that's pure castor oil. But I'll have to keep looking. I don't like order, and I don't like ordering products offline. I like to get them at the store. And my my other sealant that I use is the shea butter. My shea butter mix. My shea butter mix has all of these oils in it, every single one of them, and it and I, and I get the chunky come in the chunks and then I add my oils and then I mix it up, whip it up with my mixer and then I have my shea butter. And I use this, I use this for my hair and my body. I mainly use it for my body. I use it for my hair um, every once in a while, but I do like the shea butter. Um, it's really handy. And what I also use with my oils is my honey. Just regular honey from Walmart. Um, I use these for pre -poos. I will add, probably I would just do, add my coconut oil and my olive oil. These are my two favorite oils. My coconut oil and my olive oil, and I'll put it in a applicator bottle, warm it up a little bit, and put it in my scalp um, all throughout my hair. And then I'll put the honey on top, and I'll cover it with a plastic cap. And I, it depends on what I'm doing, or if I have to be somewhere, or the time, pretty much the time that I have. Um, I'll sometimes leave it overnight. I'll sometimes just leave it in for about 30, 45 minutes, and then I'll wash it out. Um, and I only, I don't pre-poo every week. I only pre-poo when I feel that my hair needs the moisture. Oh, but I can't forget this product. And it's the most important product that everyone needs and has to have is water. I love my water. Sometimes I'll just spray my water in my hair and just use an oil to seal it. And that's my moisturizer. That's all I need. But water is a must. And I keep mine in my handy spray bottle. And it's a, a definite must. And without water, your hair is nothing.
Okay, so finally, my styling tools. I barely use styling tools. I do not comb my hair throughout the week. I comb my hair once a week, and that's only on wash days. Other than that, I either have my hair protected pretty much like this. I've been wearing my hair like this for a good three months because I don't feel like doing my hair. But I wash it every week, braid it back up, and throw a bonnet on and keep it moving. But when I do use my styling tools, uh, my first is my wide tooth comb. I love my wide tooth combs. I have two actually. My wide tooth combs. These are a must. They are a must. You have you need wide tooth combs. They are definitely a must. My second favorite styling tool is my Denman brush. Detangling my hair. I love the way this detangles. It's so light. It's just really, really light. But I love the way it detangles. It gets all the tangles out of my hair. I love the Denman brush. Go invest in this. And my third is my pick. I use this to fluff out my roots when I do my braid outs or my twist outs. Um, yeah. And the last brush that I use, but I don't use often, I try not to use, go to this all the time, is the bristle brush. I do not recommend you use this every day. Use this sparsely. Um, I only use this when I'm pulling my hair back in a puff, and I try not to do that because I don't want my edges to decrease. I love my edges. I want to keep my edges. So I do not use this hardly ever. Um, but when I do use it, I use it a certain way. I don't brush my hair like this. When I'm brushing my edges, I use the side. I don't use it face on. I use it on the side. Just use it like that. I don't go like this. I go like that. Because I will... I like to, I like my edges. I want to preserve my edges. Just a tip. And another thing that I use are the, these headbands. I only use these when I'm doing my puffs. And I make sure that I do them, stretch them out really loose. Because when you buy them, they're really tight. And so I stretch them out. I put mine on chairs, like two chairs, two back of the chairs, and have them stretch. So that they won't be so tight on your hair and you have headaches and then your edges are receding and decreasing. So I don't I don't use those all the time. I only use those when I only put my hair in a puff when it's just a really bad hair day or if I'm trying to stretch out my first day braid or twist out. It's the only time I put my hair in a puff. And that's it guys. Thanks for watching. And if you have any questions or comments or concerns. Leave them down below and I'll make sure that I'll get to you. Thank you. Bye.